Hello drone lovers, welcome to my channel. My name is KM. Well, do you know what this is? This is a Scorpion 80 HD. I have not been flying this for some time, but the last time I flew this, it was pretty bad. And there were jello all over, and I could not really control it doing the power loops and so forth. I think because I've already crashed many times and maybe the motors was in balance or something. But today I'm going to take this opportunity to update the RPM filter on this quad. Uh, we hear so many things about the good stuff RPM filter does for micro quads and one main thing would be to increase the flight time. So I'm just going to get on with updating this and to see how good this quad flies after that. Okay, first you must notice that uh, this connector is extra long for the USB connector. It's because the connect the USB plug inside here is quite deep in. Anyway, it's quite good of uh, GoFly to provide this longer USB cable. Okay, so first let me go and check the version. Okay, let's plug this in. Okay, let's connect to beta flight and let's check what version the current beta flight is using so we are going to CLI and we type version and we can see it's a very old version 3.5.3 .3. and the firmware is the Omnibus F4 SD okay so right now we're just going to call out the Google Chrome. So this uh, Chrome, I already have the BL Heli configurator in here, which you can just search for it. It's there in Google Chrome. So I'm going to launch the app, and I'm just going to click on Connect. Uh, okay, first I have to stop the connection for Beta Flight. Okay, I stop beta flight and then I connect the BL Heli configurator. Okay, now I need to connect the battery so that I can read the ESC configuration. Okay, make sure you have a fully charged battery, otherwise you don't want to have any brick brick on your ESC firmware in the midst of the update. So I'm going to click on read setup. Okay, so this is the current version, QH10, and the version is 16.7. So just disconnect it at the moment. Just remember it's QH10. Okay, so we disconnect because it's pretty hot. So I think it's better that I just disconnect the USB cable. Keep it cool while I download the firmware. So we're going to go to the website. Okay, ESC firmware. Don't worry about this. I will provide you a link in the description below, which you can see where to go and update. So first, we need to go to the latest firmware. We go to BL Heli SI Labs. Okay. and we go to the latest version 16.8 and we go to 16.8 48 kilohertz H version which is this one and then we just hunt for QH10 yeah so QH10 Okay, yeah, this is the one. It's QH, just double check, QH10, 48 kilohertz, revision 
Okay, we right mouse click now on the raw and we do a save target as. So we're going to create one ESC firmware. We're going to put in a scorpion here. Okay, QH10. 16.8. Oh, we already downloaded this. It's okay, so I save it again. I override it. So, okay, now that we have the firmware on our local hard drive, we can close this uh, website. Okay, now I just minimize it and then we reconnect it. Plug in the USB again. This guy gets pretty hot, gets pretty hot. So I must make sure that I don't over leave it too long plug in without any airflow. Okay, so now I plug in the battery and I do a read setup. Okay, now we're going to update flash all. Okay, before that, just take note of the motos that are reverse. So motos two and three are reverse. So right now this is moto in. I mean the props in configuration. I'm going to do a props out. So after I update the firmware, I'm going to change this to props out. I'm just going to reverse the motos. But right now let's concentrate on updating the firmware first. So this is, uh, we select the file manually and then we go to ESC firmware, select Scorpion, QH10, select 48 kilohertz, okay? And click on open, just to show you, this is 48 kilohertz firmware, click on open and just wait until it finish flashing. Don't touch the quad, don't move the USB cable. You do not want to break the firmware. Okay, first ESC is done. Now it's the second ESC. Okay. Third ESC. Okay, once you see the update, you can see it's 16.8. Okay, so I'm going to reverse the models. So now ESC 1 will be reversed, but ESC 2 is normal, ESC 3 is normal now, and ESC 4 is reversed. So everything is opposite direction now. And I'm going to write the setup back. Okay, and then disconnect the quad. Yep. Let's unplug the quad now. And unplug the battery. So you can close the BL Heli configurator now. Next, we shall go to um, Betaflight. So let's connect the USB back on Betaflight. Click on connect on COM6. Let's look at the, yes, it's working. And let's just go and back up the ECLI first. So we're just going to um, type diff all. Okay, this is the current setting for the beta flight version 3.5.3. .3. So I'm going to, just going to copy everything that is after diff all and save it into a text file. Okay, and then we open the text file in the explorer. So we go to any folder that you want, but I will organize this into a nice folder for all my models. So I have Scorpion here. And I'm going to back up this into this file here. Call Scorpion Omni Bus F4SD 
Okay, version 3.5.3 before upgrade. I've already done that. So why not just do it again? So I just select everything in here and then I clear it first and I paste back again from what I copied earlier on. Okay, so this is the current one. Let's save it just to show you. Okay. Okay, so once we've copied that one, let's do the firmware update. So we type in bootloader, which is PL, on your CLI command and press press enter. Okay, over here you can see DFU. Okay, and then click on up on update firmware. Okay, remember what we saw in the Scorpion. This is Omnibus, Omnibus F4SD. So we just need to select Omnibus from the list of firmware. F4, F, SD. Okay. So just check, double check, it's the same firmware. Okay. Omnibus F4SD. Omnibus F4SD by Airbot. Okay. So select full chip erase. Okay. And then just load the firmware online. Click on that one so you get the latest one. And then we select the latest version which is 4.1.6 updated on the 26th of April 2020. So flash the firmware. So it's erasing now the, the memory and it's uh, going to flash it, flash the 4.1.6 version in. Just make sure that you don't check this switch. This switch allows you to see all those unreleased versions. We just want to update all releases ver released version, not the unreleased ones. You, on the safe side, it's better to do so. Unless you want to try out new firmware to see if it's any good on your quad. But for my case, I will just update any firmware that is uh, released. So don't touch the USB cable, just leave it until you see a green appearing saying program, programming successful and then the COM DFU has changed to COM6. So once it has changed COM6, then you can connect to Betaflight again. And then you'll be asked to, to see whether you want to apply the custom default. Always click yes. Apply custom defaults. And then it will ask you to connect again. So connect. Okay, you will notice that the custom defaults do not have any VTX. Okay, so COM port 6 is selected for zero RX and the configuration are props in. Okay, and 8K, 2K, no. Okay. Okay, there's no bi-directional D-shot. Okay, because maybe this one is not selected. So if you select 300, there's a bi-directional D-shot. Okay, but before we do this, okay, you see everything is all incorrect. Even the receiver is spectrum. So what we need to do, we need to go to CLI. Okay, I'll show it to you. You open your text file which you have copied. Look for the name, Scorpion HD. Okay, from here onwards, just select Okay, and don't select the pits. Okay, just select all these items here. Okay, from profile onwards, don't select profile. These are all the pits. Okay, we do a copy. And we're going to paste it here. Okay, and then press enter. And everything is going to go in. You see some red marks there. Okay, some of these commands are not valid. Set battery minimum cell voltage okay don't worry we will set it later for this one and then we go back for the remaining actions of remaining commands okay, we
us setting the profiles okay then we can start from the rates this is your rates you like this rate so you just copy this rate all the way until save so we're going to copy and we're going to paste it here again and click enter okay because the last the last command was saved so it's already saved okay now we just do a connect to com6 again and you can see from your ports configuration tab now vtx is now selected for you and UART 6 is the your receiver RX in your configuration you can see D shot 600 is selected and your S bus is also selected so this was your setting for your for this squad so you don't have to set all this again okay right now we need to reverse the motors because we have already reversed the motors on the ESC we need to reverse here to tell beta flight is reversed and then from here we need to select okay for RPM filters we need to select D short 300 and then we need to do a select uh, bidirectional D short okay and moto pose uh, let's count it okay it's uh, quite easy to count here because it's quite far apart okay so from here one two three four five six seven eight 10, 11, 12. Okay, there's 12. So I'm going to select 12. Okay, this is important the motor pose so that the ERPM can be calculated by your firm. I mean, it can co convert the ERPM that is transmitted back from your motors to the RPM, the real RPM of the motors so that the beta flight can, RPM filters can work. Okay, for D shot 300 on F4. Um, processors we just need to select 4k 4k and just turn on the accelerometer the name is the same okay and just make sure that all these are this necessary one necessary parameters are checked okay I don't know whether you need telemetry but just check on telemetry I think you need telemetry because this one is is what you need to see from your for your battery voltage and your RPM filters Okay, air mode you can turn it off because I have a switch. Okay, if you don't have a switch then you want permanently hit permanent permanently on, you can select this button. Okay, now everything is okay, we click save and reboot. Okay, then we click on connect again. So let's go to battery power. Okay, okay, this is was this was all your previous setting. Okay, nothing to do on fail safe, just to make sure that we have a drop on the stage 2. And for the fail safe uh, guard time for stage 2, I put at 1 second. Enough time in case your receiver catch on uh, the connection again. For your pits, now you can see these are the new pit setting. We're using a slider. So right now we need to go to RPM. Don't worry about this one yet. You can fine tune it later. Let's go to our filter setting at the moment. Okay, and then let's ensure that RPM gyro RPM filters is turned on with three gyro harmonic number and a hundred as the minimum frequency. And since this, since this is a micro quad, okay, we may want to set this to medium or or high. Okay, I put it to high first because for my mini quad, I'm using medium. So for here, I'm going to put zero, following my uh, Joshua Butwell's uh, suggestion for setting up this one. For the dynamic notch Q, I'm going to put 200, and for the dynamic notch minimum frequency, I'm putting 90. Okay. And for this default filtering, okay, we can push all the way to all the way to less filtering, but try to check it. Check your motors after flying and hovering for a while to see if it's hot. If it's hot, you may need to lower this. Okay, save. Okay, now is the time to check your receiver. Let's turn on the Tyrannis. Welcome to Open TX. Throttle warning. Switch warning. Select the model. Scorpion HD. Okay, so we click on receiver. 
Okay. See? The receiver is fine. Okay, I have a hundred for your two hundred. Throttle is minimum to one nine one three. Okay, and then we have pitch two hundred one hundred. Roll one hundred two hundred. See, now your throttle at minimum is 1,000, maximum is 2,000. So you maximize your range. Okay, so now let's go to modes, just to check. My arm modes, yes, it's working. Angle, horizon and angle, yes. Air mode, okay, let's go to air mode, let's scroll down. Okay, the bottom one is air mode. This is aux force. Ox4 Beeper There's no Ox5 Let's do the inverted flip Okay So Ox5, there's no beeper Why? Something to do with your Tyrannus So it's because over here you can see I only set from channel 1 to channel 8 so if I put here to channel 9 or even 10 I should be able to allow the switch there okay. see now the people works because when I set 1 to 8 it means here from 1 this roll 2 is pitch, 3 is yaw, 4 is throttle, and then 5, 6, 7, 8 is aux 1 to 4 only. So aux 5 is not received. So if I set on my trans res uh, transmitter here, as you can see in the setup page, if I set the channel to 10, then I should be able to transmit aux 6, up to aux 6. But since I have a RSSI channel at aux 12, I might as well just change this to 16 okay then you can see your RSSI now changing okay if I put 15 okay your RSSI is still there back to 10 okay the RSSI is not there it's not correct Anyway, just put a 16. Okay, so now your RSSI is there. It's around 19, 190. It's quite it's maximum now. Okay, so click save. Ah, there's nothing to click save here. So we check the modes. Beeper is now on. Okay, arm is now on. Beeper is there. Yeah. And finally, air mode. And the flip turtle mode. Okay. So right. So the last thing to do is just to change the motor direction of your quad. Okay, I pull the motors out. So we're just gonna make sure that the upper the blade that has the higher part of the motor is facing outwards. So outwards on the upper outer side. Okay. So now this is reverse motor already. So let's try and do a small hover. Transmitter, okay. let's get it ready. Okay, let's connect up the port. Okay. Air mode, level mode. Okay, it's hovering except that it is not, the accelerometer is not set. 
So I'm just going to set it by putting it in a level position. Okay, it's level. And then on the remote control, I'm going to push up, go to the left, and then push down. And then go down. Okay, so now you can see the LED is blinking. So let me try again. Okay, it works. Let's try it. Perfect. Working now. Now let's go to VTX. Okay, with Betaflight 4.1, we have VTX now. Okay, this one we have to check what is the version of the smart audio. We need to go into the sensor, the black box. We need to click here under the selection, select smart audio, and then click save and reboot. And then we click on connect. Again, let's go to the sensors tab. And you can see from the debug, the version is 104. Okay, so 104 on channel 1. Okay, 104. It's version 1. So, go back here to tra video transmitter. So, we're going to go into this page, go to this page to download the file for the VTX table. Okay. Ah, there's a hundred, but there's no 104. So let's assume it's uh, SA version one. So let's download this file, SA version one, USA. Okay, right mouse click, save target as. Okay, Scorpion, VTX table. Okay, then we go back to this here, and we say load from file. And we select VTX table here for Scorpion. VTX table. Okay. So these are the powers. So the lowest power is 25, then we for Scorpion we have 100 and we have 200 here for the, as a label. Okay, just to make sure this is correct, we can anyway you can always check by going into your data, into this uh, web. Okay, you get 100 milliwatt. All it says is 100 milliwatt, nothing much here. After you finish um, upgrading this uh, firmware, remember to always save it up, save it. So I'm just going to do a diff all, which I'm sure you know. So just to make this uh, video complete, I'm just going to do a diff all for this quad. So I'm going to get the long-ended cable. USB cable that is supplied by GoFly, the long one. So I can plug it in. Okay. Running beta flight. Connect. Okay. Let's go to CLI. Diff. All roll up. Okay, everything after the all just copy and paste it in a file of your choice. Copy. 
can paste here so I create a new text document and I will go inside here and do a paste right so everything here is the default for my current quad Alright, save it, exit, okay then you just need to rename this, uh, just use the name as the previous one, but just change the version, control C, control V, so this is 416, 4.1.6, uh, after upgraded, okay so it's upgraded, version one point zero zero okay you could have an upgraded version one point zero one later okay so now you have saved your div all here so next time you can all if you need to do something else you can put it put this div all back okay I'm ready now we have already finished setting up the uh, beta fly for the RPM filters and the BTX. Now it's just to check to see if the um, RPM, the uh, BTX is changing with the power. Okay, now let's power up the quad. Okay, I'm going to point the Put it here. So we're getting 0.2 milliwatts. Okay, this is radiated power, and according to my goggles, it's showing 25 milliwatts. So I'm going to power on the quad now. Make sure don't nothing is touching the props. And my goggles is showing 200 milliwatts, and I'm getting about one milliwatt. Okay, if I power off, okay, you can see there are some changes in the power, but I really don't think this is the right power. But anyway, it is not. At least it's not going down in power. It's going up in power. So that should be okay. Let's do a real time test uh, sometime after this COVID nineteen is over. So okay, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. Just give me a like and thumbs up. Uh, also subscribe to my channel by clicking on the drone picture on the uh, top right side okay have a nice day and goodbye